Here's what's crazy. Um, uh, Oma Congo, go to my iPad. Um, and th these folks were, I mean, you had folks calling him 44 year old Sahil Omar, a legal immigrant. You see his tweet, they tripping, my name is Denton Laudermill. Um, Tim Burchett, days went by. I mean, folks were posting on social media saying, dude, take this down. He wouldn't take it down. It wasn't until this morning he finally took it down. Uh, and so I hope he sues the hell out of Congressman Tim Burchett. Yeah, absolutely. And going off of Candace's point, you know, social media should have been involved in taking it down. I just had Instagram take down a video that I did, uh, you know, music video today, a video that was, you know, talking about how we need a ceasefire in Israel and Palestine and, and, and all of that. It was calling for peace, but they didn't like the imagery, right? But they can take that stuff down, you know, really quick when they want to. And so the fact that this was going to stay up there until he basically decided to take it down or not, it's really problematic. And furthermore, this man is a rep state, a representative. He, he knows about rallies. He knows about protests and things that happen. He knows that oftentimes police officers will detain people as part of a way of keeping calm. And so when this first happened and there were stories about people had, uh, you know, people in custody, uh, some reputable news sources were saying, don't post the pictures. Nobody should post any pictures until we have more information. This is intentional. It's one thing. You know how we know it's intentional, Roland? Because it's one thing to say they have a suspect in custody, but to also add it's been found that he's a quote-unquote illegal alien, that's intentional. And that's, just, and that's designed to play on this narrative of quote-unquote illegals invading our country, and, you know, they want to attached because of what happened in New York uh, uh, with those undocumented folks up there with the police. Now, what did Trump say at the last rally? Something about the, the new term is Biden in migrant crime or something like that. They want to add to that narrative. And so Vladimir needs to get that money. He needs to get paid big time because that's the only way that it's going to change this. You, as, as Johnny Cochran would say, you know, hit them in the pocketbooks and their hearts and minds will follow. Joy. Mm.